Fine. So this is the fourth episode of Angular 20 tutorial. In last episode, we have completed data binding like interpolation, property binding, event binding, and two-way data binding by using ng model. Now, next thing is signal. So from Angular 17, we got signal, then we got computer, then again link signal. So many uh, things are there, you know, evolving around the signal. Why signal is important? Because if you see in Angular 20, while creating project, we get that question. Like, do you need to create the zoneless application? How chain detection work means whenever a variable value gets changed, wherever you are using that variable, it will update that variable value. That is nothing but chain detection. Whenever any change happen, your chain detection cycle will trigger. It will check the updated value and it will render wherever we are using that variable. Right now. So all that chain detection is happening because of zone.js. So Angular team, zone.js is a third party library, not from the Angular. So Angular team is trying to get rid of that library so that performance will is increase, right? So signal doesn't need zone.js. So once the signal value get changed, UI will automatically fetch the latest value. Okay, so that's the major thing. So uh, from moving ahead from 18 and 19 and 20 also, signal is going to play a very important role. There is a possibility that in coming version, we will have signal based form also. So that much signal is important. Someone say like it is a replacement of RxJS. It's not a replacement, but it somehow works like the RxJS. Okay. Now let's see the basic things what we can. Let's create one more component. So component, right click, open it terminal. Ng generate component. Let's say signal example. Once you create the component, that component we are going to load into our app component. So app in app component, let's remove the existing import. Signal example component we have added. Then in the HTML, we will load our signal component. So app hyphen signal example. Fine. Now let's close this. Let's go over here. Let's open it side by side. Let me zoom a little bit because we have very less code to do now. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Now, so <clears throat> How do you create a variable or how do you create a state in angular so or you can say state or a variable right so how do you create let's say you want to store your first name so first name data type string is equal to some value like this you store correct so this is how you create a normal state now just like this this is a normal variable if the variable value get changed and you want to display that in the html you need that change detection fine just like how you create a variable, one more way is there, which how we can store the data in the state. So that is nothing but a signal. So let's say what we can say course name is equal to signal. What type of data I'm going to store signal type of data. Here I can specify the data type also string and then round bracket. And here you can say initial value. So let's say angular. So this is your normal variable and this is your signal. This is how you create the signal. Okay. Let's try another way. Let's say course duration is equal to directly signal. And I can provide, let's say 15 videos. Sorry. So see, we have created two different signal. In course name, we have specified the data type. In another course duration, we have not specified the data type. So just like while declaring variable also, either you can declare the data type or you cannot also, right? There are two ways how you create, just like this. Wait, let me show you that also. Let's say product name. Directly also you can assign the value, right? So. How, what things we can do with your normal variable, same thing we are doing with the signal also. Okay, now let's check the constructor. Now, how do you change the normal variable? So we access normal variable by this, then first name 
it's a normal variable, so we can directly assign the value. Let's say Chetan was there. Let's make it I mean Rahul. So this is how you change the normal variable. Okay. Just like that, how you create the signal? So signal is not something that you will use equal to value. So what was that course name? Dot. So you get so many methods. So you use the set method and you provide the new value. See? New value, which will the directly set the signal to the new value and notify the dependents, just like RxJS. Okay. So here we will say react. Okay. So this is how you change the normal variable and this is how you change the signal value by using set. One more method is also there is update. So update in case of array on object, we have to go for update method. I will again in the coming episode, I will explain it because this episode like very basic thing I need to cover. Fine. So this is how you create a signal. This is how you change the signal value. Now, how do you access the signal? Like let's say normal variable console.log. How do you access a normal variable? This dot. Your variable name, first name, this is how you access a normal variable. How do you access a signal now? So console.log, this dot, your course name. You cannot access signal like this. Signal accessed as a method, so round bracket. If you don't give this, it won't throw you the error also, but it won't print you the value also. So this is how you access the variable. Fine, let's just try to print the console. Mm, why it is saying like this? Let's try to save the app component.ts again. Let's try the console now. So in the console, you can see Rahul we got, which was a normal variable, and React we got from a signal. See, here we change the signal. Let's try this console over here also. So here, existing value you will be able to get. And after that, we are changing the signal value to react and then we are again accessing it. See angular and react. Got it? So this is how we access the signal. Now this is in dot ts. Let's try the same thing over here. So let's say span is there. In first span, how do you access a normal variable? Directly accessing the variable inside the curly braces. This is how you access a normal variable. Let's try span curly bracket, curly bracket. Let's say I want to access this course name signal. So course name, how do you access a signal? See here we are getting warning. So it is saying course name is a function. It's not a function, right? It's a signal. But here it is expecting like it's a function and we have to invoke like this. So as I said, now we access signal as a method. Let's save and check now. So see Rahul is there and React is also there. That's the updated value of the signal. Got it? Let me show you that one more thing. So here, this signal value, we will change it into the set timeout. Set timeout, let's say after five seconds, I will change the signal value so that you can see the value is getting changing over here. By default, it is angular. After five seconds, set timeout will execute. I'm changing the signal value. See, I got the react. Understood? So this is how you create the signal and this is how you update the signal by using set method and this is how you access the signal i hope it is clear so consider like uh, what we used to do with subject right if you need to react to any data happening in your component we used to create subject a smart replacement of that will be signal okay but again if you are totally new sorry i thought like the existing let's consider like you are learning the angular for the first time just to get familiar with signal, consider signal as a, another way to create the variable. Don't focus on any, any theoretical knowledge, whatever you might get. Just for now, consider signal is just how you create a normal variable, how you store the data into normal variable. Just like that, there is another way also that is signal. But how do you write the syntax? So this is how you write the syntax. This is how you access the signal and this is how you change the signal value. Little bit syntax is syntax different is there apart from the normal variable. Fine. Now we have this is your normal signal. Just like that, we have a computed signal also. Let me show you the computed signal now. Let's say now we have course name and course duration. Now let's say by using this two signal, I want to create a full course detail. 
so what i will say course details is equal to computed signal why it's not coming yeah computed let me change i also forgot i didn't use it recently so computed then arrow function so here we will access this dot our course name as a signal plus let's say i want to just concatenate both the signal value so let's move it over here plus this dot course duration is also a signal so see what we have done we have created one more signal but the type of signal is not a normal signal it's a computed signal so this signal value depends on the value of these two signal okay let's try to access this instead of span i will go with h1 and here i will access this course detail signal see react which was coming from my first signal value and 15 videos from the second value so i have concatenated both of them see understood so computed so computed is this type of signal which value will get computed when based on the two signal whatever the signal we are passing whatever the value you have okay one more thing i am doing now let's say here i am wait uh, we changed the set timeout over here right let's try one more time see by default is it is angular after five seconds we are changing it to react fine so see once your original signal value get changed your computed signal value also got changed means this signal value will depend on the signal value of this whatever we are using it over here if any of the signal value get changed this value will get again computed see the meaning of computed it's this signal value will get again computed every time the signal value get changed whatever the signal we are using it over here whenever any signal either course name value get changed or signal duration value get changed again my course detail signal value will be computed okay now you must have understood the computed meanings right so this value the computed signal value is depend on the signal what we have using inside it in normal signal we can set the value of signal in normal the normal signal value we can use the set method but in case of computed we cannot use it see this dot course detail dot see here we are not able to see that set method so computed signal value you cannot change by a set or update method it val its value depend on the signal what it pass over here okay it is going to compute this we cannot directly use the set method okay so this is the difference between normal signal and the computed signal again we have one more that is link signal but that i am skipping for now because considering that if you are learning it for learning angular for the first time or if you are new to the signal also so link signal again it is little bit hard to process so that's why once we are done with the basic topic then again some of the things which i am leaving behind that again i will cover fine so this is signal this is how you normally create a signal this is your computer signal this is if you want to change the signal value you have you we use set method or the update method update method again we will see and how do you access a signal as a method see okay so this is your signal now again if you are new to my channel please do like subscribe add comments also if you are feeling something like if you are not understanding the way the example it's not clear you can ask any uh, you can ask the question in the comment also in video description you will find a group uh, link to join my whatsapp group we have around 7000 people already joined who are working normally in weekdays i take the sessions also like apart from the normal topics i try to take some advanced scenarios or some reusable components or the actual working example what we face when we work on a company so just to get notified of that join that group okay so that's it